Hello guys and welcome here to the Lyft National Series race number nine here today from the Auto Club Speedway. Today we present to you the Production Alliance Group 300. I'm Brian James here in the booth with you today. Starting on the pole will be Gene Sanfer in the number four. And to her outside will be the number 11 of Cliff Clark. Of course, we want to be. Sure. We of course want to say I hope you all had a great Fourth of July weekend. We are back. Yeah, we are back racing. Sorry, my apologies. Um, we're back racing though after the Fourth of July weekend. Of course, it was a nice race over in Iowa. I believe we had overtime to settle it. And of course, now the Lyft National Series is on the West Coast swing for the next four races, of course. After today, we have our first and only Lyft National Series doubleheader of the season, and that'll be at Phoenix. So, these guys are getting ready for that, and of course, it's a short week. Again, we're racing here on Tuesday night, our first midweek of the season. We will, of course, be at Phoenix next weekend for the doubleheader on Saturday and Sunday. So we can't wait to bring that to you here on GCN. But in the meantime though, let's get going. Let's roll the intro and when we come back, we'll have your full starting lineup here on GCN. Welcome back. The starting lineup, it's going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. And of course, the hometown favorite starting up front. Always a great sign. Of course, Sanfer from the California area. Some big names though at the back. We'll see if they can make their way to the front. Of course, this race 10 laps longer than last night's truck race. And then, of course, these guys, I believe, have 10 extra laps tomorrow for the Jell Cup race. We'll see. Pace car is off. Gene Sanford, Cliff Clark will lead us down the front straight. Green flag flies. We're underway at Auto Club. Nicole Hill takes the early lead. The 39 is around. Caution is out. Zach Fitzwater. Averill Mead. These guys crossed the line first before that caution came out, or after the caution came out. So we're racing back and we got another wreck. Turn two. Oh, the 03. The 9 of Samet Ozkan just went piling into him. Who was that? That was the 7 of Riker Faden. He's done for the day. Sixty five Dave James as well. 
Nicole Hill leads us back. Let's see if they pit before we go see what happened. Just a wild, wild start. And it all starts with Zach Fitzwater spinning out. Here we go, leaders are going to pit. The question is, it being so early in the race, will it be a fuel-only stop for some of these guys? No, it's going to be tires as well for a few of them. I think the four is doing fuel-only. So a few guys doing fuel-only, some changing tires, and they're going to lose some spots. Let's go see what happened. All right, so here's part one of the wreck you see. Four wide off the corner. It looks like Dan Hummel got a piece of Averill Mead, and then Averill Mead got a piece of the 39 of Zach Fitzwater. And you see here, they just go spinning out in the infield. But I think both of them escape actually hitting that pit wall. So no damage to report, it looks like. <clears throat> So good news for the 39 and the 10 early on, but what happened to the 03 of Max Anderson? Let's fast forward this just ever so, oh, actually there's three wrecks I believe. Back behind its teammates, Samad Ozkan and Riker Faden, and then of course Dave James dragged into this too, and Dave James is going to go up and over. As a result of this, the 26 also up and over. But of course, Samet Ozkan's day not... Oh, three separate wrecks, actually. So let's back this up now and see what happened. And you see the 15, the 77, the 03, just tight racing four wide. Of course, 31 on their outside. Just look at that, 77 into that outside wall, then the 03. Of course, you got guys who are involved in the wreck in turns one and, t or in between turns one and two. They're going to be coming through, and Samad Ozkan just nowhere to go except right into the 03. I think he misjudged that mini gap right there. Tough break for the leaders, tough break early on. Three wrecks bring out the first caution. Let's take you back to the green right now. Getting ready for the restart. You see the 03 Max Anderson, the 9 Samet Ozkan, the 65 Dave James, and the 7 of Riker Faden all done for the day after those wrecks. It's going to be Gene Sanford, Pretty Shaw, Dario Vazquez, Austin Shaw, Dick Clark, your top five. Then it's going to be Dave Hashey, Cliff Clark, Roberto Crown Jr., Nicole Hill, and Dylan Young. That is your top 10. Pace car is off. Gene Sanford will lead us to the green. We're back underway here at Auto Club. And we'll see if they get as wild and crazy as they did on that initial start. Again, after this today, we will go to Phoenix. That'll be a double header. 
this weekend. And then after that, we will be going to Las Vegas to wrap up the West Coast Swing. Then we will go to Charlotte, and that'll be our second double points race of the season, I believe. I'm going to have to double check on that. If not, it's Darlington. But either way, one of those races coming up, there will be a double points race. And that, of course, as you know, can change everything because there's double the playoff points at stake as well. And then, of course, after Darlington, we have Daytona. Here we go, Pretty Shaw mounting a run. Let's see if she can get around the four. She won't get any help. Is the 98 Dick Clark going to force it three wide for the race lead? You see the four way up out of the groove. He's, she's going to lose a handful of positions. It's still side by side. Dick Clark, Pretty Shaw, Dick Clark will lead the lap. Now Dario Vazquez to the race lead. Here we go. Some of those guys going real low. I wonder if they're going to pit and they won't. Look at this gap Dario Vazquez has on second and third. Keep in mind again, you see him going 195 into the corners. Um, they do not have the same package that they ran last season where it was restrictor plates on these tracks. Um, of course, we've decided to remove that rule. Um, it'll be in effect too for the Jell Cup race tomorrow. As you see the six pitting, this will hand the lead to Dick Clark. So once again, no no restrictor plate packages here on the track on the oval tracks two miles or larger. That should make for an interesting weekend here. Dick Clark decides it's time to pit. Looks like it's the 51 and the 31 that are going to stay out here. And it is, so Nick Lange now the race leader. And of course Alexander Rowe battling for the lead. And he'll take it. Nick Lane's going to battle back, but they need to settle this before pit lane because I'm sure both of them are going to want to pit. No, the 51 will, the 31 will not. So Alexander Rowe going to try to stretch it the furthest. We'll see if this helps him. And this is a strategy that can work, but it can also bite you. And this time, the 31 will come in. Hard on the brakes. Boy, he tried to get as much as he could out of this. See Daniel Gittero going around. Of course, it's not for the lead this lap. There's Nick Lange. Of 
course, all eyes going to be on the 31. And they just got to their pit stall. I don't think they're going to cycle around the lead. This may end up hurting Alexander Rowe if this race does get a caution. And it will. Daniel Gittero to the race lead. Dylan Young now up to second. And we're going to wait for things to cycle around so we can show you the official running order. Daniel Gittero must have played some strategy. He is going to be the race leader. All right, here we go. Daniel Gittero, he is currently in first. Dylan Young up to second. Then you got Dick Clark in third for now. The battle for fourth is on between Dario Vazquez and Michael Collins. In sixth, you've got Roberto Crown Jr. Seventh is Gene Sanford. Eighth is Dan Hummel. Ninth is Tim Horton. And in tenth right now is Scott Upton. Course, let's see how far that 31 fell back and you can see he fell all the way back to 20th so the overcut did not work it looks like Daniel Gittero about to get pressured here by the 98 and the 20 Now the two looking for the lead. And past the halfway mark in this midweek showdown here at Auto Club. And now Dylan Young gets the race lead away. Fifty four might be pitting, and he is, so he is off sequence. So Dylan Young cycles out to the race lead. Dylan Young, no stranger to winning here at Auto Club, and especially in Michigan, these two mile tracks seem to favor his driving style. Here in Lyft National and in the Jello Cup series, of course. And he will pit this time. So now Michael Collins cycles out to the race lead, and you see some of the other leaders pitting back there. We'll see, are we seeing our final cycle of stops coming here? You see the 51 the 31 battling, that is for the presumptive race lead right now. And again, if this thing stays green, I think it benefits Alexander Rowe. Because Alexander Rowe, of course, stayed out the latest of all these guys. So he's going to have probably the most fuel. And see the 51 slowing down. He's going to pit this time. As we got ourselves a lap traffic moment presented by Fitzwater's Angerness. The 31 will get around the 02. You see just how much quicker the uh, 
31 is compared to the O2 who has serious damage right now. And I think the 31 knows how bad he got burned last time by pitting too late. So he's going to come to the pit lane. For now, it looks like the 54 will cycle out to the race lead. See the 31 just into his pit stall. And now the 54 is going to have to deal with the 02 of Matt Klein. You can see just how far off the pace that 02 is. He's a good three seconds off the leader's pace. And again, a lap traffic moment there. See how wide this track is. Matt Klein will just easily get out of the way. And Daniel Gittero now the race leader. And we'll see if the 54 can hang on. Look at that. Here comes Trevor Collins now, I believe, or Dylan Ibrahimian, I mean, in the 34. A whole mess of them closing in as the 54 is going to pit. Likely final stop for him. So now Dylan Ibrahimian, the two-time winner this season, he will take over the race lead. Five laps of racing to go. And again, you begin to wonder, can the 31 make it on fuel? You can see the 34 pitting the 98 Dick Clark to the race lead. Dan Hummel actually to the race lead. Correction, four laps of racing to go. See the Chevys are going to work together. Dan Hummel, the Daytona winner to the race lead, the defending champ. Now he's going to battle with Dylan Young. This is for the lead, but of course, these guys likely going to be coming to pit road this time. The two is. The leaders will stay out. 3 to go. Tim Horton's also in this battle. The last time Tim Horton came here to Auto Club, in the Jell-O Cup Series, he was a winner. Can history repeat itself here in the Lyft National Race? As Tim Horton goes to the lead. And it won't. They're slow. They're coming to pit road. The lead goes to Michael Collins. Two to go.
and I question if the 13 can make it around one more time. He's not going to. Neither is the 13. Or neither is, I'm sorry, the other guy. But here we go. To the line this time is the 31, the race leader. White flag, one lap of racing to go, presented by Mitchell's Memes. And Alexander Rowe wins the fuel strategy if he can hang on. Or will he pit coming to the checkers? We'll see. Out of turn four. Alexander Rowe, he is going to win here at Auto Club. Sometimes off sequence works and he got fortunate enough to have no cautions that could change that. And Alexander Rowe will celebrate in victory lane today here at Auto Club. Congratulations to the former Jello Cup Series champ on getting his first win of the season. Of course, we want to thank you all for watching. We're going to show your results and your standings, and we'll be back for race number 10 and 11 at Phoenix this upcoming weekend. Until then, goodbye, everyone.